In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 6, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. New York Mets vs. Pittsburgh Pirates A pair of National League teams with different situations in the final month of the season take the field in the Steel City searching for a victory. The New York Mets are on the road to play the opening game of a three-game series with the Pittsburgh Pirates Tuesday evening. New York was knocked off 7-1 by Washington in the finale of their three-game home set Sunday afternoon to lose the series. Pittsburgh fell 4-3 at home to Toronto in the finale of their series Sunday afternoon to wind up being swept. These teams were slated to open this series Monday afternoon, but the game was postponed by rain, necessitating a split doubleheader Wednesday at PNC Park. The Mets are 27-13 in their last 40 overall and 2-8 in their last 10 Tuesday games. The under is 5-0 in New York's last 5 Tuesday games. Meanwhile, the Pirates are 6-14 in their last 20 Tuesday games and 15-36 in their last 51 overall. The Pirates are 6-20 in their last 26 in Game 2 of a series. The rest day is likely something the Mets appreciate as they need to bounce back from their rough weekend. They inexplicably lost their series to the Nationals, which is bad enough. However, the Braves also swept their home series against the Marlins over the weekend. That means that the Mets hold just a one-game lead of Atlanta in the National League East. It's not as if their postseason is in jeopardy, but they want that pennant. Meanwhile, the Pirates were swept over the weekend and now have the second-fewest wins in the entire league. Therefore, it's no surprise the Mets are such significant favorites for this opener. It will be the same starting pitching matchup that was supposed to be on the mound for Monday Day as well. That means Taiwan Walker for the Mets, who is out for his 11th win. He's been held to no decisions in his last three starts, but they've been against some of the top teams in the Dodgers, Yankees, and Braves. On the flip side, Pirates' Mitch Keller looks set to get his 11th loss. Pittsburgh has lost six of his last eight starts now. He's never faced the Mets before, but already recently lost to other National League East opponents in the Phillies and Braves. Along with the league's fourth-worst bullpen, third-worst lineup, and overall worst fielding, the Pirates are simply outmatched in this series, so the New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. New York went into Monday with the over holding a 66-61-8 margin this season. They are ranked tied for 6th in the majors with 4.64 runs per game on the year. The Mets are 8th in runs per game on the road as they put up 4.68 runs a contest to this point of the year. Their average total entering Monday night is 8.38 runs per contest and that climbs slightly to 8.86 runs per game on the road. Pittsburgh went into Monday night seeing the under post a 65-57-11 record in their 130 games on the season. The Pirates are 28th in the majors in runs per game as they average 3.51 runs per contest this season. That number climbs to 3.71 runs per game at home this year. Pittsburgh sees an average total of 8.59 runs per game though that number climbs slightly to 9.03 runs per game as the home team. The Mets should be able to take advantage of Keller and the Pirates' bullpen to put enough runs on the board to get this one past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. Tampa Bay Rays The Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays continue their three-game series on Tuesday night in Tampa. The Rays have utilized solid pitching and timely hitting to creep back to within a half-dozen games of the Yankees in the American League East Division race and are in line to take one of the three wildcard spots available in the American League. The Red Sox have played much better as of late and seem to be relishing the role of spoiler even as they remain barely in the hunt for a wildcard spot. The pitching matchup for Tuesday night will feature Boston lefty Rich Hill opposing Rays right-hander Drew Rasmussen. Drew Rasmussen has been excellent at home this season. At 11 games started at home, Rasmussen has a 1.97 earned run average, 0.8 WHIP, 61-11 Kelvin BB ratio, and opposing batters are hitting .178 against him. He has not allowed more than three earned runs in any home start this year. Rasmussen has allowed two earned runs or less in eight straight starts. He has walked a total of two batters 
batters over his last five starts. Rasmussen has been excellent this season and is on a roll. So are the Rays, as they have climbed their way to the top wild card spot in the American League and are in a position to catch the Yankees for first in the American League East. The Rays will continue to follow the formula that has made them one of the premier American League teams over the past few seasons despite a paltry small market budget. They have utilized excellent situational pitching and timely hitting to pull themselves again within striking distance of the division with less than a month to go in the season. Look for the Rays to keep it close and steal a game late in a battle of two vastly different bullpens. Tampa Bay is simply playing very good baseball, so the Tampa Bay Rays money line is our full game side pick. Rich Hill has had success against the Rays this season. Season. In two games, he has a zero earned run average, one WHIP, a 12-4 Kelvin BB ratio, and the Rays are hitting .184 against him. Hill has been better on the road than at home. He has a 3.44 earned run average on the road versus a 5.88 earned run average at home and a 1.13 WHIP on the road versus a 1.5 WHIP at home. Drew Rasmussen has been excellent at home this season. In 11 games started at home, he has a 1.97 earned run average, 0.8. WHIP, 61-11 Kelvin BB ratio, and opposing batters are hitting .178 against Rasmussen. Rasmussen has allowed two earned runs or less in eight straight starts. This will be a lower scoring game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Philadelphia Phillies Miami will be looking to snap a seven-game losing streak when it travels to Philadelphia on Tuesday night. The Marlins were swept by Atlanta over the weekend, including a 7-1 setback on Sunday. Philadelphia has lost six of its last seven games, getting swept by San Francisco in its most recent series. Aaron Nola is expected to get the nod for the first game of this home series. He was crushed to the tune of eight runs on ten hits over four innings in last Tuesday's 12-3 loss to the Diamondbacks. Nola was about as good as they come in an 11 strikeout, complete game shutout against the Reds two weeks ago. He simply did not have it in this one against Arizona, but it is worth noting that the Diamondbacks are one of the hottest hitting teams in the majors right now. The Marlins are the opposite. Entering this series with the Phillies, they are bottom five in on-base percentage, slugging, runs per game, and team batting average. Nola has a great chance to redeem himself after a very bad outing last week. Miami has lost seven straight games and six of their last seven against the Phillies, so the Philadelphia Phillies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Philadelphia is battling for a wild card spot in the National League and needs to turn things around quickly. The Phillies will start Aaron Noah, who has allowed 13 runs over his last 18 innings pitched. For the Marlins, Jesus Luzardo has allowed six earned runs over his last 19.1 innings. Philadelphia is in the middle of the National League wild card race, holding a 2.5 game lead on the Milwaukee Brewers with less than a month left to play. They have been awesome from the plate all year, holding a top 10 slugging percentage, runs per game, and team batting average. After Aaron Nola was lit up last week, expect him to respond with a solid performance. With that said, I can see the Phillies put up a big number on Luzardo. Miami is playing the role of sport at this point, heading nowhere near the postseason. Both clubs serve up more than 4.2 runs per game, middle of the pack in terms of MLB rankings. Both of these teams have really struggled in recent games, but I believe that both teams will get plenty of scoring chances here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.